something different uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while but you know how it is always too busy on the boat on the weekend you know having fun but I always wanted to go uh, uh, do this and today was a perfect day you know why because uh, it's one of those days the kids are lazy uh, Ogeta's going to a baby shower uh, that I decided uh, I kind of didn't want to go because you know I uh, prefer to do something else so it gave me the right opportunity to uh, to do this today and I'm gonna take you guys for a ride uh, ride, a uh, far ride actually, because I'm going, uh, it's about an hour away from where I live north. It's some place that I've been there maybe one, may, I think like three times. I decided today, since I'm rolling so low, decided to do it and uh, jumped on the Jeep and headed north. And uh, let's go. And uh, we're gonna stop, we're not gonna stop, we're gonna cruise by uh, for a lot of the beach in the way up just to see what's up because the day is so pretty today. I should have been on the boat. Now you guys know another reason why I always say better on the boat than at home, right? Because at home you get to do work and things that you really don't want to do, but I guess sometimes you got to do. So um, this is one of the times that actually I'm not working. I'm actually uh, driving and taking a cruise and checking out this place. And uh, you guys are coming along for the ride. So let's go with the show on the road. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so we are cruising at Forlado Beach, and like you can see, there's a lot of people here, and I was surprised because uh, basically summer is over, but I guess there's still people enjoying the sunshine here in Florida. I'm glad to see people out and about, you know, because we have been closed up for over seven months, so to be out, you know, doing things like normal, it feels really good. Somebody just call me? Let me go back and check it out. Well, I guess so. Somebody recognized the Jeep. And sorry I didn't hear you. I mean, I heard it on the video now. But if this is you, thank you for watching the channel. And I'm glad to see you out here enjoying the day. And guys, this is what life is all about. Enjoying every moment you can. It doesn't have to be on a boat, it doesn't have to be on a yacht, it doesn't have to be something material. Just as long as you're out here, you know, enjoying your life and having a good time with friends and family, like people here out on the beach enjoying this beautiful day. Because I like to say, life is better wet.
saw, we just took a little cruise by to Olarado Beach. And uh, like you see, the day is beautiful here today. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad to see everybody's out, you know, out and about, enjoying their day. Uh, and I don't know if you can really see on the video now, but there's a lot of boats out in the water. I didn't know that people actually hang out in front of uh, Folarado Beach. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but now, now we're gonna keep heading north. All right guys, so after driving about another 35 to 40 minutes, we have reached our destination. Now mind you, I haven't been here over two years. The last time I was here, it was Boca Bash, and you know how fun that was if you watched the video. But if you haven't, go look it up, it's called Boca Bash. But now we're here, and the bad part is I couldn't really get as close as I wanted to because they were doing some road construction. So I decided to go ahead and do a bird's eye view of Boca Lake Sandbar. If you guys haven't heard of Boca Lake Sandbar, it's actually located obviously in Boca Raton. This is north of Miami, Dade County. And like you're gonna notice, it's not a, a real big area, but you see there's a lot of boats here hanging out today. So let's go check it out. see guys everybody is enjoying their day on the water and this is what I call chillaxing sealaxing on the water and that's good enough for me I mean as long as I'm near or by the water or on the water is a weekend well spent and just here enjoying the boaters go by was relaxing enough for me I mean too bad that the road was under construction and the place that I want to get to was closed because like that I would have got even closer to the boats. I mean, I even thought of bringing the dinghy, but I was by myself and the dinghy does weigh 120 pounds plus the motor. So it would be kind of hard, but this video is relaxing and entertaining enough, at least for me it is, because like I said, as long as I'm near the water, it's good enough for me. And I had a special guest come by and visit. It's pretty good, my friend and one I hear, he was also sightseeing, enjoying the boats go by. But well guys, Every good story has its end, and I have a long ride back, so see you guys next time out on the water.